In this video, I'll show you how to use your Canon PIXMA TR4720 to connect to your PC and I will also show you how to scan using your printer. First thing is to press the plier and screwdriver button, this one, to enter setup mode. Then select Wi-Fi setup and press OK. Select with the arrow manual connect and press OK. It will search for your router. Make sure to connect to the same wireless network as your PC, so the same Wi-Fi. This is mine, I'll press OK, I'll press OK a second time, and here I have to enter the password. To change between numbers, small letters and capital letters, you can use the star button, this one, to choose between them, and then you need to type your password. Once you're done, press OK, and it will connect to your Wi-Fi network. You should have this message when you're done telling you to press OK. Now go on your PC, select Start on the lower left side, and then select Settings. This one over here. Now you have to select Devices. Click on it, it's over there. And from here you need to select Printers and Scanners. On this page, you have to press on the plus symbol to add a printer. It will search for your Canon printer. My printer is the third one in this list, TR4700 series. It's this one. I'm going to click on it. Add device. And now it should take a few seconds, maybe a minute. And you're going to see the printer in the list below. Click on it and then click on Manage. Okay, once you click on Canon TR4700 series, you're gonna click Manage. From here, you can print a test page. If it's the first time using the printer, I suggest you do this, so you just make sure that the printer is actually working. Just by clicking it once, it will send the test page to the printer. So this is the print test, it works, perfect. At this stage you may get this message telling you that there's a firmware available. If you want to update your um, printer, just press OK and it will do it automatically. You can also have the option over here, I mean if you go back to your Canon, press manage again if you uh, were out of this menu. You can also select in this drop down menu the scanner. If you don't have the scan app, it will say get the scan app. Just click on it. It will open the Microsoft Store where you can download for free the scan app. This way you will be able to scan and send the documents on your PC. Once you're done, you can close this window. And when you select the scanner next time, you're going to select open scanner over here. This is how you scan stuff using your PC. On this page, you'll be able to select the source. When you click on it, you can select between flatbed and feeder. What's the difference? Well, this scan and printer can scan two ways. The feeder is on the top here. You can feed many pages and it will scan them all at once. And the flatbed is this glass flatbed over here. Okay, so let me put a document there just to illustrate how uh, you scan. Facing down always and put it on the corner, push it to the limit. And here I can select flatbed, feeder or auto configured. You can just leave it in auto, honestly. Uh, but if you see that it doesn't know where to scan, you can select a specific where you want. You can select if you want it to be a JPEG, PDF, if you click on show more, you can uh, select save file to. So this way you can uh, specifically tell the PC where to save the scanned uh, document. In my case, I want it to be on the desktop. And finally, you need to click on the scan button. If you don't see it, just put this window um, a bit on the top like this until you see scan and click on it. It will take a few seconds, the scanner will start doing its thing. 
And when you're done, you're gonna see there, okay, on the top of the page, scan was saved to desktop and view button if you want to uh, select that. You see right on top there. I'll go and open it since it's on my desktop. And here we go. This is the document that was on the flatbed. So thanks for watching. I hope this was useful. Please leave a like, a comment, check the Amazon affiliate links in the description if you want to support this channel and I will see you in the next one.